are you kings and queens? Today on Passport Kings, I'm going to go over all the things that can stop you from getting your passport. Engage! I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. Alright, so the day that you decided you've had enough of local travel and you're ready to start traveling internationally, you are going to need a government issued passport. So click the link below for the official Passport Kings video of how you can get your passport. But unfortunately, there are some instances where your passport application could be denied. Certain financial and legal predicaments could ground you in the USA until you get those things taken care of. Alright, so here are those holdups. And if you fall into one of these categories, stay positive and give me a thumbs up anyway because I didn't make up these passport rules. And additionally, towards the end of this video, I'll show you some ways to get around some of those obstacles. Delinquent child support cases. American women strike again. Now let me stop. Alright, so people who have unpaid child support that's over $2,500, you're ineligible for a U.S. passport. Before you apply for the passport, you must make arrangements in that state where your child support is owed. And if you have any questions about how much you owe or what's the process, you should contact the nearest child support enforcement agency. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services must remove your name from its list of outstanding payments once you take care of the outstanding balances, and then they'll give the U.S. Department of State an updated list without your name on it. Felony drug conditions. Don't let us hear you. While not all felons are barred from receiving a passport, there are certain drug charges that can keep you from having your application approved. If you are convicted of a drug-related felony or certain drug-related misdemeanors, you are barred from getting your passport during the time you're incarcerated as well as during your court-mandated probation period. You could even have your passport taken away if you get charged while you have one already. So do your time and pay. Because once you satisfy the state, you can usually get your travel back on with your passport. Unpaid federal loans. But don't let that scare you either. If you become incarcerated while traveling abroad and you accept financial assistance in the form of a loan from the U.S. government in order to be repatriated back into the country, you must repay that loan before you can get a passport. Similarly, if the government makes a loan to evacuate you and your family back into the U.S., you are required to pay that loan back before you can get a passport. The State Department can also refuse to issue you a passport if you have an outstanding unpaid loan. Minors without parental consent. If you're a minor under 16 years of age and do not get consent from both your parents or your legal guardian, your passport application will be denied. So in order to get a passport under the age of 16, you must apply in person with a valid form of ID plus a parent or guardian. But if both parents cannot be present, the parent who accompanies you must present evidence of sole custody or provide a notarized written consent from the second parent. The third option is to have a third party stand in with a written notarized statement from both parents. Yo, if the State Department decides that you're a real threat to national security or U.S. policy, you may be denied your passport. You also may be disqualified if you have been ruled legally incompetent or if you're subject to felony arrest or have been forbidden by court order, parole, or probation from leaving the country. Also, your passport can be revoked and subsequent applications denied if you are found to have obtained the passport through fraudulent means or if you ever altered your passport. And one more thing recently, laws was introduced I gotta research if they've been passed yet, but you could have your passport denied or revoked if you owe some money to the IRS. Alright y'all, so let's face it, America is after your money. The criminal justice system and the rest of federally ran institutions can usually be tamed if you cough up the money that they want. So the takeaway is, in most cases, all you need is a little bit of capital so you can resolve these problems of getting your passport. So yo, start making more money any way you can legally. And I recommend you start making money online so you can travel more. So, check out my free ebook called Make Money Online So You Can Travel More, which can be found at www.passport.com.
www.sportkings.com. Then start paying off the government whatever you owe them, slowly but surely. And if you have a felony, this is the perfect time, actually, to try to get that taken care of. Obama's about to leave office, and history proves that when presidents are about to leave office, they can issue out a lot of pardons. I suggest you start writing them a letter right now and get it sent to them. You never know, it may work. Cause yo, Obama seems like the most reasonable president I've ever had the pleasure of being under. Even if having a felony is not stopping you from traveling, you should still try to get that taken care of right now. Give it a shot. And remember to share this video and give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel, www.youtube.com slash C slash Passport Cage. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All those links can be found below. So yo, as you can tell, it's not that bad. Believe in yourself. Believe that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And at the end of that tunnel, you will be traveling abroad. So whatever you do, don't be negative about it. Be positive. Like a king of Passport Kings. Kings.